Alright, welcome back to another Dissidia Upper Omnia video where we are doing the 8 Lufenia once again, but this time we are doing a Type 0 theme type of uh, team. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, yes, so I decided to do this video. Oh god, these camera angles. Um, <laughs> I decided to do these, this video because I had a subscriber comment below that he, he or she, I don't know which one of the two, but that's why I'm saying he or she, uh, wanted to see fights with units that have that have either maybe for, been forgotten, uh, units that people have not used in a you know in a good while. I, feel, I just repeated myself. I don't know why. Whatever. Um, you know, basically units that you typically would not see people use all the time because you know, of course, when, with Lufenia fights, you want to have like the strongest units. But of course, if if it's manageable, if it's not too much of a pain then maybe we can switch in some units that maybe t uh, the other two characters on the team may have to carry or may or may actually bring some benefit to the party so they asked me to use rem and i was like okay well maybe we could do a type zero uh team or theme uh and theme team or whatever one of the two and um see if we can actually manage to make this work and actually i did manage to do so so uh, for the sake of, for the sake of this video and for potential future videos in the comment section below I would like everybody to tell me of units They may want to see in future Lufenia fights and if it's possible for me to be able to do it Where either they can actually bring some some support to the team and, or some benefit to the team and be able to help me out or if they if I need to carry them and somehow make them still work for a Lufenia fight uh, then you know, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see I'll see what I can do. But it, it is nice to be able to use uh, other units, which is typically how I enjoy playing. Uh, you know, take example like the, let's say X Death, right? Whenever he his event came out, a lot of people skipped him because they they didn't really think he was all there. But me myself, I actually decided to pull him, and did I regret it? I did not. So it's like units like that, that that you know typically people will not use. Let's take example. I don't know, like Fang. You know, maybe I can make Fang work in this Lufenia fight. You know, it's just like stuff like that. So in the comment section below, just let me know about some potential teams, uh, potential units that you would like for me to use for future Lufenias or maybe even this Lufenia, um, and I will try my best to make them work one way or another. So and of course, if you all enjoying the video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content, so on and so forth, for uh, informative videos, shenanigans, all that good stuff. And of course, a big thank you to everybody who is uh, watching this video. Now, with this team, uh, with Machina, of course, Machina has that uh, follow-up attack whenever he is using his uh, his skills or any of his any of it, blah, any of his attacks. And the other thing that he does is that counter that, that he does right there uh, every time that um, that somebody hits him. So that and that also counts toward the Lufenia requirement or the Lufenia orb requirement that is in this fight. Uh, and then of course uh, Rem. Rem. The good thing about her is is that uh, turn shenanigans, the the uh, swapping between her teammates so that that way her teammates can actually move before she does uh which is you know can be you know helpful in certain situations uh let me see i have not used last stand my big brain self she also has a cure ability i mean the, her cure is not very powerful but you know it's something but the nice thing about it though is that any any uh brave that is not used to be able to uh to heal the party member will be switched over to brave or any hp you get what i'm trying to say my, my words are all like everywhere at the moment so i'm gonna try to rush through this fight bit because uh with this team you know it's a team that it it is able to beat this fight but the fight does take forever so when I initially used this team from, or I guess like an actual first run of it, uh, it took me about 30 minutes to actually beat, the, beat this fight. So I am trying my very best to be able to uh, destroy it beforehand, or at least be able to beat that timer 
So, because typically, like, Lufenia fights that are th uh, over 30 minutes long, just at least to me, it says that it's a team that works, but it's like, it's like one of those teams, like, it's like, like, they're, they're trying to be extra careful. So that's why I'm trying my best to uh, to try to rush this as fast as possible. But in between the counters that uh, Eight does and Machina does, and then of course the animation that these uh, that these bosses typically do so much, it takes like forever for uh, for this mess to go. And then of course Rem. I mean Rem is not a damage dealer, so that kind of holds me back a little bit when it comes to uh, recording videos. Because that's one less person that is hardly doing any type of uh, HP damage. Come on, come on. Come on, you're killing me with this uh, fancy little... I'm going to bring in my, uh, my Lufenio up into the fight. Oof, that uh, that baby healing, it's uh, it's uh, not the best in the world, but it's I guess it's something. <laughs> not something, not something to brag about at home. Hmm. Let's see here. I feel like one day that counter attack that Machina does might be an HP attack. I know Machina, I believe, has no way. I think he has received this level 80 on JP. Um, but maybe in the future, maybe he might get some love again. I don't know. Let's use that. But the way the way that JP is headed right now, I can you know I can definitely see some stuff like that change here and there. Uh, what we got going on? <laughs> right, let's use the LD real quick. Uh, gotta be careful here because I don't want to get nuked by the orb. Sorry, I was making sure that I, I wasn't going to get destroyed by the, um, by the orb. I had to make sure that A was going to do his follow-up. 
on that follow-up encounter. The only reason I did that is because I needed my HP plus back. These animations are killing me. Ugh, I can't wait till like all of this uh, Lufenia stuff goes back to the or goes to the way it's supposed to be, where the orb just comes at a certain percentage and then goes away at a certain percentage. Because this whole like oh bringing the orb back and forth, back and forth, it's just it, it's a time killer. And for video purposes, it's even worse. <laughs> so I'm tired of using it. I'm tired of, uh, you know, having to, you know, deal with the time over and over. Oops, why you... I got the wrong person. Yes, follow up or counters. I mean, counters will count. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm mixing up the two words. Because follow up is after they attack with this, with uh, whatever attack they attack with. Follow ups. Uh, ah, see, see what I mean? Counters is that. Is that right there? My God. I'm sorry. I woke up from a nap like 30 minutes ago. I'm still like. Bleh. <laughs> so. I woke up and I was like, oh crap. Is it late? But thankfully it wasn't. I was going to be like, oh man, I just wasted my entire day just taking a nap. Uh, if you don't know, I work two jobs. And yes, I had to work both both jobs. So, yeah. And uh, the uh, getting a little tired here. Kicking my butt. <laughs> hmm. So in my first initial run, I switched the Machina for Noctis. I think this one, I'm going to switch out Rem. And see how that works out. See if it makes any bigger difference or not. Alright, stupid orb is back. Let's just do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, just for the hell of it. I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Because after I bring in Noctis and I use his burst, uh, I summon. But to have like one character kind of like hold back the team into doing more damage during the summon, I feel like uh, kind of hurts it. So let, let's see how this works out. I'm kind of curious that we're about to do some actual testing during the video. 
Cool to do it, you know, you don't say that. Okay, yes, yes, miss, miss, miss. Da, 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 da. Get countered. Nothing new in the Chronicles of Eight. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Not too much difference damage wise. I think Rem provides some support to the party, but I could be wrong in that. I could be wrong in that. Okay, and then we shall summon. And we'll see how this works out. Gonna get that lovely attack boost from using uh, Homeboy. Using Ifrit. Ain't gotta worry about the Lufeni Orb. But we definitely gotta break him, though. Oof. Yeah, we definitely gotta break him. Kinda hurting us that uh, they're doing all this. Yeah. It is what it is. Hmm. Let's do that. There we go. There we go. Oh god, yes. Oof. Kinda feel like I wasted the summon here, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I would easily hit 99k, so yes, Rem does actually provide some type of aura to the party. Which I don't typically look at numbers whenever I'm doing these type of, you know, whenever I do fights in general, I just, you know, think about like, okay, what does the unit, what does the unit provide? Does it provide this, this, and that? Okay, cool. Bring it. If I know it's a support cat, I'm, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, it's gonna bring something to the party, so I think we'll be alright. So we'll bring it. So the only time I typically look at numbers is whenever I kind of get into a like tight spot or something like that. Uh, what are we about to lose? Oh, warp stuff. Uh... Are we doing that at orb? We're doing okay on the orb. It's not going down because of Noctis. Uh, we still got one down. Nigaska! There goes the burst effect. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Mm 
Thank you, Rem. Oh, thank you, Nevin. Thank, thank you, Noctis. <laughs> thank you, Rem. My big brain self. Alright, I got an HP attack. Because B still has his orb and I need to attack. So that, that way we can get the lovely counter. Corner there, what are you? Alright. Oh no, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, yeah, ow, ow. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, you thought? Now get countered. <laughs> yes, yes, anime. Oh, God. Your weird animations. Ooh, my stomach be rumbling, boy. Time to eat. My fat self ready to eat. Oh god, camera angles. Woo! Too close. <laughs> Too close for comfort. Oh, ow, ooh, ee, ow, ooh, ow, that tickles. Hee hee. Get countered in your face. And you get countered as well. Cause you guys love the counters. Hmm, now that I think about it, I wonder if there was a Lufenia fight that's either coming up later on that requires follow-ups again. I forget. I don't think so. I think this may be the only one. I don't know. Any Anybody who plays JP could, could, could tell me. But I think this is the only one that has a follow-up requirement. Uh, we're gonna do Brave. Because I'm gonna HP attack afterwards. <laughs> These things are taking too long to destroy. Pew, 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 pew. We're gonna brave attack again. You know, we could HP attack, but we're gonna give party. We're gonna give a uh, party thingy thingy magic. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Another thing that I could potentially see Rem do with her, her turn swap is maybe give a free skill to, the, to uh, her teammates after she uses it uh, in the future. That could also be another option to what they could do to Rem whenever she gets a rework. Oh no, an AoE attack. No, ow, 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 stop it. That's a lot of brave I'm going to have to. Oh, never mind. We are so close. Ah, we can go down already. Oh, Maki was like, I got you. <laughs> no, Rem's gonna, yeah, Rem's gonna get broken. Oh, and Maki got broken. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, nice. Good timing. Good timing. Alright, let's see here. Let me swap the turns once again. 
Alright, let's uh, use this. Corner there, what it are. Why am I adding that sound? I do not know. Right. Come, we must destroy these things. I am tired of looking at them. Uh, we have one more awakening, but we're not going to use it. We'll just do this. Shing. I swear that EX needs a flippin' splash damage. Just saying. Ow, ooh, ow, ooh, e, ow. Oh, yay, hey, welcome back. Oh, you're gonna do it too? No. Hmm, I gotta be careful with you, Dan. This is taking forever, but we are beating it though. Kaboom! Yay, yeah, fancy animation to bring your Lufeni orb up. I know I sound like I'm complaining, but it's just... I meant to see that over and over and over. It's just like, bye! No more. Please. I'm so glad it just does uh, a Brave Attack, because if that was an AoE uh, Brave Attack... Oh, I'm sorry. AoE Brave Plus HP Attack? Oh, God. That would not be good. <laughs> I would be worried for my life. Oh, that's cute. When you got 2% left and you know you finna die. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. This is so my fight. And <laughs> Mike and I like, hold on, fan. Let me get some brave. <laughs> oh, boy. I am such a dork. Alright, let's do this. Shave a little brave here. Bloop. Barely gonna shave anything. Bloop. No, you did not die. Dude, the pixels, man. Kiwi has cursed me with die crystals. I don't like that. I gotta be careful here. Because, uh... Oh, never mind. Uh, which was brave attack? Because we need to destroy the other things. You didn't die because I didn't HP attack you. <laughs> well, this will definitely kill you. Pain in the butt. Go ahead. Yes, double kill. Let's end it with a double kill. My God. <laughs> Anyways, though, that is gonna be my uh, my Type Zero run of eight Lufenia. So I hope you enjoy, guys. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comment section below about other units that you know that you feel like are benched and you would like for me to try to use them uh in a lufenia fight uh, let me know in the comment section below anyways i hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe do all that good lovely stuff and i'll catch you guys in my next one